my whole family has always been into acoustics. We always had big loudspeakers in the living room and um, we enjoyed good acoustics also from a young age. That brought me into the realization it's important to have good acoustics. Acoustics give you energy and uh, listening to music makes you feel better. Uh, it can help your emotions and moods. But acoustics is not only that. Acoustics is also in disturbance and noises you don't want and controlling those. I always wanted to be an engineer and I did not know back then that it would be acoustics. I did my final thesis at a um, acoustic company making acoustic dampers etc. It's also where I came in contact with Abacus. I, I design chimps. How many times have you stood at the traffic light and a car rolls up and you hear this very loud squeal? This, is, this noise would be all the time with every brake application if there were no shims in the world. If you take a bare steel beam and we hit on it, you'll actually hear that it rings. Now if we take the same beam and place a shim on it, you can hear the difference very clearly. So this is damping. With the shim, you place it on top of a brake pad, and the shim is then designed in such a way that it removes the noise, or together with the rest of the package, the brake becomes noise-free. This takes about, if, if you're lucky, the whole process takes about half a year, and sometimes takes up to a year to get the brake quiet. So the challenges here are, you need to create a very small, very compact, high damping material that does all the tricks needed to get the system quiet. You need to create a material that damps but also at high temperature. A disc brake, a rotor can go up to 500 degrees. You also have it at minus 20. Uh, it still needs to be quiet. So these are the major challenges that we face. The first time I was using simulation there were quite a few ideas of how to stack the layers etc and um, we could actually show by simulation that uh, layer stacking should be the opposite way of what was taught. I'm a great fan of if you have an idea test it, validate, validate the test, test your test first in uh, the virtual environment go make an abacus model see okay where can it go wrong i'm working mainly with abacus and abacus ca and by being shown what you can do with abacus and the the flexibility that you have with this software and that's also the flexibility i really need in my work abacus gives me a lot of freedom and that's very much appreciated mm -hmm.